What is up everyone? Welcome back to another drift cart build series. Today in this video we are going to install the Gas Predator 212cc motor. It's a motor that's popular in the mini bike world. It makes really great power and there's also a lot of aftermarket support for these and you can definitely build one mean drift cart. If you guys haven't watched our previous install videos, be sure to watch part one to three before you guys install the gas motor. But for the gas motor, the chain sprocket is going to be on the left side of the axle and the brakes are going to be on the right. If you're running electric, it's going to be completely swapped. But since we're installing the gas today, we're going to leave the chain sprocket on the left side as shown in the video. So here are the parts that you need for this install. So as you can see, there is M6 hardware throttle pedal, some brackets, a throttle cable, and another set of 3 8 bolts for the engine. So you're going to go ahead and grab the pedal and the base. And on the right side with the pedal facing you, you're going to go ahead and insert the longer M6 bolts with the washer and nuts. It should be about an inch and a quarter or inch and a half, but it's pretty much longer than majority of the M6 bolt. So you're going to go ahead and insert that on the bottom right corner. And on the other side, you can insert the standard M6 bolts and nuts and washers. So when you go ahead and tighten these bolts, you don't want to tighten all the way. You want to get it pretty decently nice and snug. And you might need to back off a little bit, but you go ahead and just do it by feel and make sure when you compress the pedal, it's not too tight or too loose. So the next step is we're going to go ahead and install the spring. Now this spring is going to help the gas pedal spring back. So to start the process, you're going to grab the spring and to make this process a little bit easier, you're going to grab a zip tie and then you're going to go ahead and compress the spring and you're going to hold that compression with the zip tie. Unfortunately, we didn't show you the second bolt that we put on, but go ahead and add um, another M6 bolt onto the swivel part, pretty much right above the base where we installed the initial bolts. And go ahead and install the spring like we did in the video. It's a little tough to see, but pretty much you have the big ring from the spring go through the longer um m6 bolt and the smaller hole from the spring you're going to insert that on the top bolt that we're installing right now you make sure you don't want to tighten the bolts too tight because you want to give it room for it to swivel so you might need to back off a little bit on the nuts on either top or bottom on the right side of the pedal um, just do it by feel just compress the brake pedal and make sure it springs back fully and freely but go ahead and adjust that as such once you get the gas pedal adjusted go ahead and insert a zip tie and zip it through the hook so you can secure the spring So we're going to go ahead and install the gas pedal right now. We're going to install this gas pedal all the way to the back because the driver of this cart is about 6'7". And for us, we're about 5'9 to 5'11". And we usually have our gas pedal about um, the center. So install it to your desired height. So you're going to go ahead and insert four M6 bolts. Now on the back bolts closest to the pedal, you're going to insert those from the bottom of the cart. And on the front two, you, you can go ahead and insert those bolts from the top. After you get the nuts, washer, and bolts in, go ahead and tighten those four M6 bolts. That's it. Do it again. Wow. 
So you're gonna go ahead and grab the L bracket and the one inch 3 8 hardware and you're gonna install the L bracket on the right gusset on the front of the cart. So here's a shot of what it looks like when it's installed. And then you can go ahead and secure the bracket by tying the nuts. So go ahead and grab the end of the throttle cable and you're going to slip it through the top of the L bracket that we just installed. There's a little slit for you to slip the cable in and go ahead and secure the cable with the nut. Now there is a couple adjustments and you have to make it accordingly to the height of the driver so you can get the throttle engaged properly. So you're going to go ahead and grab the end of the throttle cable and insert a M6 bolt through it and you're going to secure it into the right side of the throttle pedal. Now there is three settings and we usually like to start off at the middle and you adjust it according to the height of the driver. But if you guys are wondering, we have ours secured at the middle on our personal cart. Now we're going to go ahead and install the motor. So go ahead and place the motor on the back left side of the cart. Now you're going to go ahead and grab the 3 8 hardware. I believe this is the inch and a quarter and you're going to insert it from the bottom of the cart. Make sure you put washers on both sides. Don't tie in the nuts just yet because we still need to install the chain and add tension before we fully tying the motor down. So don't forget, there's also two more bolts in the back of the motor by the back of the seat. So don't forget to insert the bolts and nuts for that. Need a nut washer. Another one? Yep. Here. So the next step is we're going to go ahead and align the red sprocket to the sprocket on the chain. So once you get it aligned, tighten the red sprocket by tightening the two Allen bolts on there. And then you can go ahead and work on the chain. So the next step is you're going to go ahead and grab the chain. And before you do that, make sure you push the motor forward as much as possible and place the chain and you're going to have to shorten it so you're going to need a chain breaker and we're going to leave that in the link in the description you can purchase that on amazon um make sure you shorten it to the correct length and go ahead and reattach the chain so now we're going to go ahead and use the chain breaker to push the pins out on one of the chains to detach the link and then after you get that to the correct size we're going to reattach it with the links and we'll show you in the next couple clips. So in this clip, we're going to show you guys how to reattach the chain. So you're going to pretty much insert the link from the back side, and then you're going to put the spacer on top, and then you're going to secure it with the clip. So the next step is we're going to go ahead and add tension to the chain. All you got to do is move the motor back. You don't want to add too much tension and then you go ahead and tighten the motor down. Now we're going to go ahead and feed the throttle cable back. We usually like to tuck it under the seat just to get it nice and tucked and you feed it all the way to the back. So full disclaimer, we are using a aftermarket carburetor. So we're going to be installing the cables on a aftermarket carburetor. But if you guys are planning to use the stock one, um, all you got to do is bolt the throttle cable to the lever and it will work. Uh, we'll leave a link in the description below with a video on how to do that. So you pretty much just saw us open up the carburetor. Now we're going to reattach the carburetor with the throttle cable. So you're pretty much going to just put everything back in the same order, but with the throttle cable.
after you got the throttle cable into the carburetor now we're going to show you guys how to tidy up your throttle cable or you guys can tidy up yourself but we're going to show you the points where to zip tie Now we're gonna go ahead and test to see if the throttle cable works. So at full gas, the carburetor should be completely open. And when you let go of the gas, the carburetor should be closed. And just like that, you have completed the install on the gas predator motor install on the battle arrow drift carts if you guys are interested in your own drift carts, please check out our website at www.battlearrow.com. And if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below, but as usual, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys in the next video.